Hey everyone, this is Dustin from Lancaster Archery Supply, and today we are here to launch a brand new series of bows from our partners at G5 Prime. For 2020, Prime Archery is launching the Black Series. This is an entirely new platform. It's going to be three new bows with an entirely new cam system. This cam system is powered by a Roto Cam 5 track parallel cam. The systems are going to be three bows a 31 inch axle to axle, a 33 inch axle to axle, and a 35 inch axle to axle. Let's get into the bows and talk about their names and their specs. The first bow is going to be the Black One. The Black One again will be a 31 inch axle to axle bow. It's going to feature a 7 inch brace height, shoot speeds of 332 feet per second, and weigh in at 4.2 pounds. The Black Three will be an axle to axle bow of 33 inches, feature a six and a half inch brace height. It will shoot speeds of 337 feet per second and weigh in at 4.3 pounds. The Black Five is going to be a 35 inch axle to axle bow. It will shoot a six inch brace height and shoot 343 feet per second. That will weigh in at 4.4 pounds. Now all of these bows, the Black One, Three, and Five, will accommodate archers of draw lengths 25 and a half inches all the way up to 31 inches. All Black Series bows will feature limb options of 40 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 65 pounds, 70 pounds, or 80 pounds. Now let's hop into some of the new technologies Prime has brought to you this year. We're going to start today with the Rotocam. Like I said, this is all new technology. The Rotocam is a five track parallel cam. So we're going to see when I say five track, we're going to see the take up. The payouts have moved from the inside part of the cam outside of the cam now in this floating yoke. And then we have our dual parallel tracks, which Prime has been synonymous with for years. Now the Roto cam is special because all draw lengths will now be accommodated with this cam. So any archer can pick up this bow and make some draw length adjustments. Let's show you how that's done. On the cam itself, there's going to be these two lockdown screws, which you can loosen up. You don't have to pull those screws out. On the other side of the cam, there's the selector screw. That selector screw can be pulled, rotate the module to your appropriate draw length, and then stick that back in and lock it down. The Roto cam will now feature cable stops only. So the cable stop can be adjusted right here on the cam. And what's cool about these cams is that you can really short peg them or long peg them. We can move that draw stop forward or back. Now, in its factory configuration, all Roto cams will feature 80% let off. But by moving that stop forward or pulling it back, we can achieve higher holding weights or lower holding weights. It's a really, really cool feature that makes the bow extremely easy to shoot and extremely customizable. So this is that new, brand new Roto cam. With the Roto cam, the limb stance has, has gotten wider to accommodate these payouts. Um, with the wider limb track, you're going to get a wider limb pocket. So this is the Black Series limb pocket. The Black Series riser, this is called the Stealth Riser. And the Stealth Riser on this is a little bit sharper, a little bit cleaner than previous CT bows. Some technology that Prime has rolled out on their Stealth Riser is going to be this center grip bow. A center grip bow, if we look at it, the top half of the bow is going to mirror the bottom half of the bow. So the sight window and below the grip are going to mirror each other in this center grip bow. Now, in, to do that, Prime has to incorporate what's called the riser swerve. And that's this mirror image of your sight window right there. With this center grip technology and the riser swerve, that's going to allow both top and bottom of the bow to mirror each other and flex to present the limb pockets, the limbs, and the cams at the same time, producing flat and even knock travel shot after shot. It's also going to feature the Flexus AR roller system. So if you're familiar with that system, that's going to move in and out and alleviate torque as you draw the bow. Um, we can adjust that system here with that screw, and you could also move it for vein clearance. So you can move it in and out if you're shooting higher or low profile veins. That's how you're going to adjust it right there. The black one, three, and five will all feature lower mounting holes in their riser, so you can attach sidebars very easily. 
This system is extremely comfortable to shoot. Um, we've put a bunch of arrows downrange with these bows um, and it's just very easy. I usually am gonna set it with a little bit more holding weight. Uh, that helps me get a lot more balance when I take shots. Um, with this new cam system, G5 is also introducing an easy tune shim kit. So this easy tune shim kit is now gonna come with each bow and inside the limbs, there is gonna be, they're gonna be shipped with the standard limb shim. Now, it will come with a short and a long shim that will move this cam left or right 30 thousandths of an inch to tune your bow. So now it's gonna be with this wider limb stance, we're given more movement within the limbs, easier to tune, easier to get any arrow system to shoot with this bow. Some other features that I like about the Black Series is that it's gonna feature these quarter inch axles. So these axles are really beefy. Um, they're really stable, so you don't see that cam pull left or right at all, even as you cycle the bow. Uh, they stay true throughout the cycle. Um, I also like to install limb-driven rests on these bows, and I'll run those knots right off these axle caps. So you have axle caps on the top and the bottom. So if you're running a limb-driven rest off the top or the bottom, you can put it in either configuration. Another feature offered with the Black Series is Prime's Shield Program. The shield program is going to be when you register that bow, you'll be enrolled in that program. It's going to offer you free strings and cables for the life that you own your bow. Now this kit is, is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece kit. This strings and cables kit could run you $170 up to $200, but that's, that comes free with your purchase of a prime bow and it's included in shield. So that's it for today, archers. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our channel. Be sure you click that bell to receive notifications. And again, if you have any questions, visit us at LancasterArchery.com.